So this is the magnetic measurements lab. And the first section of the lab involves this, uh, this magnet right here, um, this coil, which is attached to this storage oscilloscope. And the point of this part of the lab is that you're going to swing this coil through the magnet qu fairly quickly. And it's going to induce a voltage that you'll see on the storage oscilloscope. And this, you, you will set up the storage oscilloscope so that it'll freeze once a uh, high voltage is triggered. So the, the way you turn this oscilloscope on, first of all, here's the power button. You just pull that out. And um, you want to make sure that your horizontal division, or your, your vertical axis is uh, is it a good scaling so that you can see the peak of your voltage? So you may need to adjust this to change the uh, divisions. And the way to get it to trigger is this is the triggering sensitivity knob right here. So you want to kind of find a, a, a spot where it's not, you don't want it to trigger all the time, but only when the signal is high. Um, so if you turn it to the right, that'll trigger at higher signals. So if you, if, for example, if you turn it all the way to the right, it may not trigger for anything. But if you turn it all the way left, it'll probably trigger for everything. So you kind of have to play around with it and get the right setting. And you want to make sure the pre-trigger button right here is pressed and also the slope button. And um, so I'll just trigger it real quick. So that's probably not sensitive enough. And if you, so it stores it. And the way it stores it is with, with this knob right here. And I have this turned all the way to the right so that it, it'll store it for an infinite amount of time. And if you turn it to the um, left, it'll store it for a shorter amount of time and just reset. But I prefer to have it on infinite time. And the way you just reset it is by pushing in like that. So I'm going to adjust the sensitivity a little bit. So maybe that's not sensitive enough. OK, so here you can see a bunch of uh, induced voltages with me just swinging the magnet pretty quickly through the, through the swinging the coil through the magnet. And then you can come in here and you can measure the, the horizontal and vertical measurements of the wave to estimate what the induced voltage is. So there's two parts to the second part of the lab. The first part is um, you want to first check your equipment. The first thing to do is to make sure that this, uh, the drift on this electronic integrator is close to zero. So you, this is connected to this multimeter. And the way you, you reset it by hitting this red button, and this will go back to zero, and then a drift voltage will be added on over time. So uh, this is pretty good. If you adjust the, the knob, it'll get better or worse. So you can fiddle around with that. But this is, it's not going to be exactly perfect. So this is, this is good enough, though. It's just a little bit of error. Um, you want to be sure that you reset it with this red button right before you do the experiment, just so that it is closer to 0. Um, and the, what you do, uh, you have this power supply right here. Um, you want to make sure you're putting in um, 10 amps. So the way to do that is you turn it on. And you can see it at, it's at Tim's right, 10 amps right now, but you can adjust it if it's not. So this is right at 10 amps. So I'm going to turn it back off again. And then I'm going to stick this magnet on this meter stick about halfway in to the solenoid, or the coil, sorry. And I'm going to reset the voltage to 0, turn this on. And here's the induced voltage measurement right here. It's about 2.7 volts. So the next part of the lab, we're going to do the same measurement with a Gauss meter. So you can calculate using that induced voltage what the uh, magnetic field should be.
but this will measure it directly. So I want to make sure that you you want to make sure that you have the uh, cylindrical shape probe. There's another one that's flat, but it measures the transverse waves, um, and this is the it's the correct one for this coil right here. So you want to stick this in about halfway as well. And this is my gauss meter right here. And once I flip the power supply on, this is the induced magnetic field measurement right here. 